hello friends in today's video I will show you how you can use your old Wi-Fi router uh, which you can use as a Wi-Fi repeater or a Wi-Fi extender or an access point as you can see I have this old UAU router and the model number of this one is as you can see it's HG630A so this router is an old DSL router with a DSL port and four LAN port and one WAN port. So first thing we have to do is we have to we will switch this router on. So as you can see there is a power button given. I have already connected the power adapter. So this is powering on. So this router is powered on now. So uh, the first thing we can do is we have to reset it to the factory default settings. So for that you can see that we have a button in here or you can do it from the web interface also I will show you later so uh, to reset it I will have to insert one sharp object into the hole I have to press it for a few seconds Now my Wi-Fi router has reset to its factory default settings. The next thing which you have to do is you have to extend one cable as you can see I have this gray color cable uh, which is of 20 meter long and I am extending this cable from my another room where I have kept my new router uh, that that is a fiber optics router so i have plugged in a cable ethernet cable on my new router and i have extended this cable to my other room now i'm going to plug that cable into any of the four lan ports so remember you don't have to plug it into the van port otherwise it will act as a router we we don't need this router to act as a router we need it as a Wi-Fi repeater or an access point so we can plug it in any of the LAN ports so I am plugging in in this LAN 4 port so I have plugged in my LAN cable uh, which I extended from my new router so you can see I have connected the Ethernet port on the LAN 4 uh, this cable will be carrying internet from my new router and you can see it's been connected to the LAN 4 port so to connect to my new old router to my laptop I can either use an other ethernet cable LAN cable like this and I can connect it with any any of the other LAN ports or I can also connect it wirelessly as you can see the Wi-Fi wi is up and running yes so here I am on my laptop screen as you can see I am connected to the internet using my new router which is having internet access now I will log in into my router settings screen for that I will type this IP 192.168.1.1 you can also check this using the command IP config and it will show you the default gateway address for your router I will log in using the credentials you can check according to your router model number and your router company so here under networks and LAN IP addresses you can see the IP address of my router is 192.168.1.1 and it is using the DHCP server to dynamically allocate IP addresses to the connected devices so here you can see the addresses will start with 1.2 to 1.254 so you just keep a note of the IP addresses which I'm using because I need to tweak some settings on my old router so just keep note of the IP address which I am using in here 
and the range of the IP addresses which I, I am allocating to my connected devices using the DHCP server. So now I will log in to my old router. So for that I need to connect I'm using the Wi-Fi network to connect to the old router or I can also connect it using the LAN cable but since I need to switch to both networks so I'm using the wireless network so you can uh, check the SSID or the password on the back of your router so I have reset my router so those will be the default SSID and the password So in my case, the default password for this is Airtel at one two three, which I can change later. Let's connect to this network. So now that I have connected with my old router Wi-Fi, you can see I don't have access to the internet in here. And uh, I will now log in into my old router dashboard using the default IP. As you can see, also you can check the default gateway from this command IP config. You can see it is also using the same. IP address. I will log in using the default username and password. You can check yours uh, under your uh, router or you can check it with the model number on internet. So I am into my old router's dashboard in here. So I do the basic settings and the LAN settings in here. So as you can see, it is also using the default gateway address at 192.168.1.1 That is same uh, as of my new router which you can see it in here This is my new router dashboard I, I have not refreshed the page I have saved it to show you and also uh, we are using the DHCP server on both the router so I need to disable the DSCP server on my old router so that it won't conflict with the DSCP server of my new router so I will disable it from here and the second thing which we need to do is we need to change the default gateway to any other address apart from 1.1 I will keep it 1.254 the last address of this range I will save that setting also so we are still connected with our old router with no internet and if I try to hit this address you can see it's taking me to my new routers dashboard page because for my old router I have changed the default gateway to 1.254 now I am on my old router UI router dashboard screen I will log in again and also you can check the default gateway using the IP config command so as you can see it's showing the default gateway of 192.168.1.1 because now my old router is now not working as a router rather than it's working as an access point or Wi-Fi extender or repeater so the address which which has been uh, given to my IP uh, to my router to access the internet is 192.168.1.3 that's the local address and the default gateway now it will show me of my new router and also here you can see it don't show as uh, any internet access in here it shows no internet access but if I uh, open any web page say google.com it will show me the link for google.com and it 
will work perfectly fine in here so now here I just connected the LAN cable from my old router to my laptop so you see the connection name which is giving uh, is of the new router name which is coming up in here this one and it's also connected uh, to my old router Wi-Fi so I just uh, switch off the Wi-Fi and now I will uh, I will uh, access any website you see it's ac accessing in here and it's working perfectly fine with my LAN also you can see I'm getting a good speed with my Wi-Fi extender also uh, now if I disconnect my uh, LAN cable you see the LAN has been disconnected now I am showing both the networks so this, this network I have connected now it shows connected So this network is of my old router and this network is for my new router. So that way I have extended my new router internet access uh, internet access to, uh, to my old router and now I can connect with both the routers wirelessly. Thanks for watching my video. If you uh, like my video please like, like it and if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions you can leave below and down in the comment box thanks again bye bye